Welcome back to Atlanta Football. Today, we are talking about how the San Francisco 49ers win draft day in 2024. Let's waste no time and dive straight into the seven round mock draft. Let's do this thing, guys. And today, I am the captain. We are not pretending this is what they would pick. We are saying this is who I would pick if I was the GM in office. Now, I am going to try to tailor this to how this team is built and their attitude and identity. But nonetheless, I'm picking who I would want and how I think it would go down. Let's not waste any time. Let's dive straight into this thing. And as we know, let's just see how the first few picks fall. You know what I mean? It's always fun. First five are always fun. Caleb, May, Nate. Neighbors is a mix-up. They're not... Uh, this is why we do simulations, man. We see what can happen, the possibilities. That's the first four. Truth is, if Daniels makes it this far, Vikings are trading up right here. And they're getting them at four. Nonetheless, we're going to push this thing all the way to our pick at 31. I don't see the 49ers trading up whatsoever for their guy. I think whatever they want at their positions of need, they're going to have there at 31. And nonetheless, Kool-Aid McKinstry is here. I mean, we got other players as well. We got Zach. We could do that. We got Tampa. But the answer here is clearly Kool-Aid McKinstry. Let's take Kool-Aid, no questions asked. First pick, 31 for the 49ers. I'll see you guys at the next pick in the second round. The Niners are back on the clock in the second round at pick 31 in the second. What do we do here? Let's look across this board and see what we got value-wise. We want O-line. We want cornerbacks. We got our cornerback in the first round. We could always take more, though, and the value never hurts. Let's see what we got. Christian Haynes. Looking pretty good. Let me guys show you what he's all about. He's 6'2 out of UConn. Pretty good athleticism. He can move very well. Very good in zone schemes. There it is. This dude can play. He does it all. Big fan of this value right here. We'll come back to this in a second if this is the guy I want to take. But looking overall at the value, I think Sweat's pretty good here in the second. Don't mind him at all. I think value-wise, I like Trice. I'm still going Haynes. We need to stack the O-line. They need some help. It's just our man Williams on the left side doing everything he can. I'll see you guys at the next pick. Here we are at pick 94, and wasting no time, I can see clearly the value fell to us at guard and center. We just took a guard. We took Kool-Aid in the first round. Where do we go next? Jones is there. That's not bad at all. Big fan of that pick. Fellas, I have reviewed all these players right here, and I definitely want Mason McCormick. I'm going to waste no time. We're taking this guy. We're taking two guards in this draft. We're protecting Purdy and the fellas. We are building that O-line back up again. All right, squad, we are back on the clock, and we have, for the most part, filled our needs very successfully. We are feeling good. Now we're just taking best player available. We got two guards and a corner. I mean, we could get a tackle as well for the right tackle position, but I'm not going to force it. You know what I mean? Let's just take the best player on the board. Here on the board, liking Cole Bishop. Also liking Leonard Taylor. Big fan of that right there. What do we want to do? Elijah Jones ain't bad. Christian Jones? Mm? Not a bad move. I wouldn't mind Christian whatsoever. I think my top three, Kamara's there as well. Kamara, Jones, and let's call it Bishop. I think I'm going to go Taylor. <laughs> I just saw my top three that I'm switching it up. I think I like Taylor. Big fella, 6'3", 305. Let's go Taylor and stack up that D-line. Let's just get another player in there for that rotation. You can never have enough D-lineman rushing the passer. Never, ever hurts. All right, fellas, like seven picks later, and we're back on the clock. And as you can see, we pick again in two more picks. Now, we're going to play this to our advantage. You just got another draft board. Got another teams you go up against, okay? These guys need tackles, right? Do they need a cornerback? They need DBs. I kind of I want to take Elijah Jones, but I also want to take Christian Jones. Christian Jones definitely won't make it is what I'm saying. Elijah might. Let's take the risk. Let's go, Christian. Let's go, baby. Let's also take Elijah Jones. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at us just absolutely killing it at GM. Let's go to the next pick. And let's rumble. Back in the clock, pick 176. Look at all these picks the Niners have. It's ridiculous. That... 211, 215, and 251. It just keeps on going. We're taking best player available. And that on my board, I like McGregor. We did him in the last draft, so we won't do McGregor. I like Simpson. I like Barner. But I really like this is the guy you want to go to a Shanahan offense. I really like Jaheim Bell. Jaheim Bell is a chess piece. The dude can do it all. He blocks decently well. He can get it done. But he's just a weapon in the offense. And I think that if anybody can use him right, it would be Shanahan. Let's take Jaheim Bell here at 176. Let's make it happen. Here we are at the back of the sixth round. We got two picks here and then one in the seventh to polish this thing off. This is my plan of attack for these two picks. It's the sixth round. I know. High stakes right here. Very high stakes. I like a backer here. I like Hopper. I like Ford more, personally. He played on the road for me. Don't know the guy, but seems, seems like a cool dude, and I like him as a player. Ford, I want Ford on my squad, 
and this team needs a backer, and I don't think they'll take Omar Brown, who I want to select next at 215. So let's go forward here. And Omar Brown goes immediately after I said that. Well, we will adjust on the fly, and we will take we will take a value pick right here because I believe in Big Ten tackles and Big Ten O-lines, and I know that Michigan has a very good O-line. Trent Jones, welcome. You are now a 49er. Let's go to our last pick in the seventh round. All right, y'all, we were in the final round. Who are we taking? We've addressed all our needs. we got plenty of value picks. Now, I know Kyle well, and I'm going to make sure my coach is ready to go when it comes to the fall. He likes to take seventh and sixth round running backs that just slide on the board, and he makes them great for one or two games in fantasy and then just lets them be for four years. And that, out of this list, is going to be Jahar Jordan. He's a speedster out of Louisville. Him and Isaac are very good players. I know he didn't test that well, but he is faster on tape than he is on the track. Jahar Jordan, welcome. You are capping off this list of 49ers. 49er fans, this is our final mock draft. Let's take a look. Let's take a look across the board. 31, we snagged Kool-Aid. What a pick right there. I'm glad we got him. Next, we got Christian Haynes. The value was just screaming. Did not hesitate. And then Mason McCormick. How did he fall all the way to 94? I had to take him as well. So we got two guards. We were securing that O-line for Purdy and the boys. And then Leonard Taylor took him. I like just stacking the D-line. Got to have a good rotation in there. And after that... All value picks. I got Jones at tackle, two Jones, back-to-back -back Jones. Jones at tackle, Jones at cornerback. Bell at tight end. I think he's less of a tight end and more just a weapon in general. He can block, of course, but I think Bell belongs in the Shanahan offense and he'll succeed well. Jalen Ford, Jones, another Jones. I got three Jones. Look at that. Jones, Jones, and Jones. That that tackle room is going to be hilarious with two Jones in it. And then we got Jahar Jordan because you know, you know Kyle Shanahan, man. He wants those running backs on day three at just just no one knows, or not no one knows, but no one thinks about, and then he just makes some great players for like four or five weeks and just rips it with their great online. But yeah, guys, this is my mock draft. They gave me a B plus. What would you give me? Put it in the comments. What would you change? I'll drop that in the comments. You won't hurt my feelings. I personally did the best I could do, but I want to hear your thoughts as well. Drop it in the comments. And guys, if you watched this far in the video, I am very thankful. Please drop a like because it helps me out a ton. And it also lets the algorithm know that you enjoyed this and you want to see more content like this. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon. Not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all-pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, Mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end, and of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. I appreciate y'all more than you know. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List, and this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names, say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of LSU.